Okay, so the question is asking us to determine the size of each shell. First one is composed with 0 0.060 radians angular deflection, and the second one is 0 0.085 radians. Okay, so what's now here is the wavelength from the light. Oh, yeah. It's 630, which is 630 nanometer. Okay. So, lambda is equal to 630 nanometer. And let's talk about the first case first, which is A. Okay. You know, the radiance is. Let's yeah, let's say A is the radians for the first question, 0 0.060 RED. Okay, and we need to figure out the size of it. such a shell first. In order to figure out the size of such shell, we need to figure out the diameter. First, let's convert the radians into the degree, okay? So we know theta is equal to the radians here, which is 0. Point, oh, zero point zero six zero radian divided by two pi, okay. And that's how much it will be over one circle, which is 360 degree. So all we need to do is just convert it to a degree, which is 360 degree, because 360 degree is simply two pi. But we need to convert it to angle, and a unit must be degree. So we use 360 here. And that will give us three point four three. I mean, actually, three point four four degree. Okay. And so now we know the angles, and we know there's a formula for this kind of question, which is sine theta equal to one point two two lambda divided by diameter. One point two two is the coefficient, lambda is the wavelength, and d is the diameter. And we can figure out diameter like this. So diameter for this case, let's mark it as D1, okay, is equal to 1.22 lambda divided by sine theta, which is 1.22 times 630 times 10 to negative 9 meter, since 1 nanometer is 10 to negative 9 meter, and sine theta. You just sign 3.44 degree. Okay. And let's go to the second page to illustrate the questions. So D1 will be equal to One point three times ten to the negative five meter, or if you want to convert it micrometer, it's a thirteen micrometer. And one micrometer is equal to ten to the power of negative six meter. Okay, and let's take a look at the question two. Let's go to the second page. Actually, it's a third page. Okay, so B. We're trying to figure out D two. Lambda is now. It's the same lambda since the light doesn't change. It's 630 nanometer. Okay, but the radian is different. Let's say radian in this case as B, which is 0 0.085 radians. 0 0.085 radians. Okay, trying to figure out. D2. And let's convert radians to a degree first. So theta 2 is equal to 0 0.085 divided by 2 pi. 
times 360 degree that will give us okay 4.8 degree actually 4. Point, let's say uh 4.87 degree and we know sine theta 2 is equal to 1.22 times the lambda here which is 630 times 10 to the negative 9 meter and then divided by the diameter d2 we don't know yet so we'll figure out so so d2 is equal to 1.22 times 630 times 10 to the negative 9 meter divided by sine 4.87 degree and that will give us It will give us 9 times 10 to the negative 6 meter, which is 90 micrometer. Oh, sorry, it's not. My bad. It's 9 micrometer. Okay. So the answer for the D2 is 9 micrometer. Okay. And that's the answer for all the questions. Thank you.